Uh, I joined the Army back in uh, 1996. I've been in 17 years this February. And uh, the journey for me started as along the way. Actually, my father was uh, an Army chaplain, and never did I dream that I would follow in his footsteps. And uh, it was a uh, natural thing to do. And uh, so I, I, inqu I inquisitively asked him, uh, you know, as, as I was trying to find direction in my life um, and asked him about seminary. And at the time, didn't know a, a clue what a seminary was. Uh, but uh, he explained to me, this is where you go learn about God and how you want to uh, form, form your life. And uh, so I went down that road and became uh, a student at uh, Southeastern Theological Seminary. And uh, I had a, a recruiter come, actually a chaplain, uh, Kitchen, Herb Kitchens was the, the one who uh, worked with my dad and for my dad and said, hey, we need a, an airborne chaplain female to come into the military. <laughs> and it just so happened I was a, um, a person who uh, loved adventure and jumped already out of an airplane, which was odd, but I was like all for it. But the Lord had his hand on my life uh, at the age of 19, I had a stroke, and, and that helped form me and to direct me in a direction because I was really all over the place, uh, you know, just getting in all the wrong crowds, doing all the wrong things. And uh, the Lord got my attention, and when um, He uh, grabbed a hold of me one day, and uh, I found myself in a hospital actually uh, trying to figure out what was going on with me in my life. Um, and uh, it, uh, it took being in a, a, a chapel all by myself. Uh, my parents had to go back to where my father was stationed because this was gonna be a long haul for all of us. And uh, uh, I, 19, scared to death, not knowing what the Lord had, had in store, whether I was gonna die or not. But obviously, you know, with uh, cerebral hemorrhage was a big deal. And um, I just knew I couldn't do it by myself. And I, I moseyed up to the fifth floor. I, it was in Bethesda Naval Hospital, actually, at the time. <laughs> and uh, we, um, I, I got real close with God real quick and uh, told, told him, I said, I can't do this by myself. And I and, and understand, I didn't have a relationship with the Lord. Um, when you, you're a preacher's kid, you think your father can pray you into the kingdom and you don't have to do anything. So uh, this was actually when it became real to have, uh, to be face to face with God and to encounter him. And then that's when uh, I gave it all to him to say, uh, this, if, if you would just intervene right now and take away the fear that I have, because if you take me now, uh, you know, I'm ready <laughs> if you can, if you, that's the way for me to go. But at the time, you know, he knew there was something bigger and greater that he wanted me to do. It took me six years to figure out w what that was, but I did, you know, find my way again into the seminary. And that's when uh, Herb said, let's bring into the military.